Today on the patio, we are officially beginning my quest to figure out how to make the best wings on the Komodo Joe. Let's get some smoke rolling. What's up, barbecue fans? Walk by the patio. My name's Jake, and you're watching Rama Cook. Today, we've got the Joe Tisserie finally for the Big Joe, so we're doing some wings. Football season is here, and who doesn't like some wings? And for me personally, I am a wing fanatic. So, we're gonna do some wings on the Joe for our first cook with the Joe Tisserie. And I did this on the Connected Joe. One of the big difference when you get to the Series 3 is you've got some more distance there and it does uh, make a difference in your approach. So we're gonna use this guy. We just hit 350, so I'm gonna turn this back down. We'll go right in before the first line there and we'll close down the bottom to about an inch. And that's gonna dial us in around 300 degrees. Let's go prep some wings. So as I mentioned in the intro, I'm a little bit of a chicken wing fanatic. I grew up two hours from Buffalo in Ontario, Canada, and I was spoiled with good wings, although I didn't know it at the time. So since I lived now live in the, in the States, you know, I'm always looking to step up my wing game. I've pretty much got them perfected on the Yoder, although I will say that yesterday I filmed a video with a, a new method that actually impressed me. I'll put a link to that one up here. I was actually quite su surprised to be honest. But part of that for me is starting with a good quality wing. Now Dar Dartagon Foods sent this to me as part of a sponsor video that I did yesterday. But I've been buying these wings for a while. They are a green circle version. I've got a link down in the description. But get on their newsletter. They have frequent sales and uh, they'll do like a freezer stock up for 35% off and stuff. So you can get some really good deals. Uh, but this chicken is night and day different than what you're gonna buy in the grocery store. It is more flavorful, softer, a nicer color, and all around just a better chicken. Not that it really uh, makes a huge difference for a wing, but if you're gonna try and make the best wings around, you should start with some good quality chicken. And what we're gonna do here is I'm actually gonna turn this around like so. Get my other cutting board here. And these are whole wings, right? So we're just gonna trim these up real quick. Just find the joint, slice right on through. If you buy your wings like this, you're gonna save yourself a little bit of money and it's super easy to do this, right? So put these guys back here. We're gonna season these up before we put them on. Sometimes it helps just open that bone up a little bit. Or the joint, sorry. Oh. And it'll take you a little bit, once you get used to it, it, it will actually go quicker. If you cut a little bit of bone, don't worry, just make sure you catch it and uh, get rid of it. And now that we've got these all done, we're gonna put some seasoning on there. Today I'm just using some John Henry's Texas chicken tickler. Uh, this doesn't have, uh, well, it has sugar, but it's like the fifth or sixth ingredients in it. One thing for this, you don't want to have too much sugar in there. It's just going to burn. And we are going to use the basket today. And for those of you who are watching Komodo Joe videos, you will recognize this method from James over at Smoking Dad Barbecue. He's done a bunch of testing on chicken wings and uh, I talked to him about when I tried them on the um, Connected Joe and he was the one that told me that it was just too close. So I'm gonna give him another shot using his method on the Series 3 and that's gonna be my baseline. Hopefully uh, they're good. I mean, James is not gonna steer me wrong. So we'll uh, give him a shot and see what happens. This is just uh, maybe a couple pounds, it's not too much. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the top area here, maximize the space so they can really tumble and get away from each other. That way we're gonna get some heat and smoke and crispiness 
all around it. We are running right about 300 right now, which is where I want to be. We're going to put it in a jotisserie. And I got the coals banked to the back as you would have saw in our startup there. We're going to bank them to the back for the beginning. And we'll turn these on. What we're going to do here is we're going to let these tumble for about 15 minutes at 300. It's been 15 minutes. The wind has kicked up. We've actually got a storm coming in, so I got to get these wings done. What we're going to do is we are going to take our ash tool here and we're going to rake. We're just going to rake our coals all the way across the bottom. A couple of these stuck. So what I did is I actually I just took a knife and moved them away. So now what we're going to do, we've got our top open all the way. The basket has a limit of 500 degrees, so you don't want to go beyond that. So what we're doing here is we're going to open up just inside that line. That means it's not going to go past 450 because we're only at about an inch at the bottom, a little inside an inch actually. And what we're going to do is we're going to go another 15 minutes. We'll set my watch here. And now we're working on crisping up that skin. So it's been about 18 minutes. These are looking Phenomenal. So we're going to pull them off here. Let's have a little look-see. Put our jotisserie aside for a sec here. We're going to throw our grates in here. Pull this guy out of here. So as you can see, not too bad. Not quite as crispy as I would have liked. A couple of them are. And I'm just gonna put plain Jane barbecue sauce on these guys. And now what I'm gonna do is we'll just throw these on the grate real quick, just to tack up that sauce. Those are only gonna take two or three minutes. Those coals are ripping. So we're just gonna tack them up and then we'll try them out. That's it, our wings are done less than three minutes. These wings are looking phenomenal. We got a little char on them, not too much. I like a little char. So I think they're gonna be Phenomenal. We're gonna let these cool down for about 10 minutes. While we're doing that, let's talk about the contest. So on my channel, every video we do a contest, super easy to enter. All you gotta do is you gotta be subscribed to the channel. You gotta like the video and comment down below with two hashtags. For this video, we'll do hashtag chicken wings, hashtag D'Artagan foods. Comment down below. And if your comment is randomly drawn at the end of the month, I'll give you a $25 gift card to abbbq.com. If you happen to be a Patreon member, I will double it and make it 50 bucks. Additionally, we are quickly approaching 25,000 subscribers, so I'm doing a big giveaway for that. I'm still working with partners to iron out all the details, but several have already stepped forward, so I think it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is it's gonna be US only because of duty and shipping and all that across borders is a little bit of a pain in the butt and extremely pricey, adds up quick. Uh, but to enter into that, all you gotta do is you gotta go to my website, rumcook.com, scroll all the way down, join the newsletter, and then I'm gonna export all the email addresses and I'll do a random comment live in one of my upcoming videos once we hit 25,000 subscribers. All right, let's give these guys a try. Pretty good wing. Try flat real quick. Good wing. Definitely got some great smoke flavor in there. It is crispy, not as crispy as I like, uh, but that fat dripping over that lump in the basket really does add a, a nice background flavor to it. So I will say it's a pretty darn good wing. I do enjoy it, but I'm gonna see if I can make them better. If that interests you, subscribe down below while you're down there. Click that like button. Thanks as always for watching. 
I'll see you soon.